Are we okay, on? you can lead off. <laughs> a lot of this is probably a regurgitation of what we did in the, la in, in the last Microsoft bit that we had. But it's true. Why Microsoft Why? Why is Metro going to be the end-all, be-all for, for UI implementation and for Windows operating system? Well, what, what I really want to know is if, if, if they claim it's, you know, it, it's the future, it's not uh, everything. If they think it's so damn good, why are they putting in the U-Law, you're not allowed to change it? Why are they, like, draconianly locking you in? It's, it's part of the U-Law for Windows 8 that you, you can't change the shell. You can't do what you've done in past things where if you hate the Windows UI, you can't hack in a new one. If you do that... You now now pirated Windows. So if if you don't like the UI and you try and fix it, Microsoft says f you. <laughs> I know. I, I hope people. That, that if anybody truly is watching this video that has more inside information than we do, I really would love to know the scope of why Microsoft is pushing Metro as hard for their operating systems coming to desktop. Uh, I have a theory. I mean, I would I. I you know, I've always said in other videos here that we've done together that I get it if you're trying to attract new users, but Microsoft, are you going to make a parallel for users like myself that I, I don't want to go through Metro to, to do what I do? Uh, you know I what I thought? Not everything here. I'm not going to go to Metro UI to do what I want to do. What, what, I honestly, what, what I honestly think on that bit is Microsoft has decided that is the direction the industry is going and so they're they're drawing a proverbial line in the sand of saying if you want to, to continue to develop for Windows you have to embrace this huh? and they're basically saying all you developers in the industry this is what we want develop for this or we don't want it I think that's going to bite them in the ass. I think it's going to backfire on them. But their logic is the industry is going that way. And the reality is Windows applications and the traditional desktop UI do not scale to the industry going that way. And they're, I think it's a preemptive. And their logic is they have enough clout that if they force the transition now, they will get to stay on top. I believe that's their logic. I think they might and create... That's, that's the bend of their own methodology. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, no, and that, that's why I subscribe to that. Because I think they honestly are afraid of not tomorrow, but down the road, like five, six years, the slate form factor taking over the average user who just wants to do basic stuff, and them losing their core thing... So their logic is, we're going to create a preemptive attack and force Windows to be that solution. But I think for the reasons you and I have both pointed out several times, as well as many other people, I think they, even though they have really large clout, I think they underestimate it and overestimate the value of this transition. And basically, and they're... They, if, the, if they screw this up, this could be the thing that breaks Windows. This could be the... Is that people who, who don't... People in other camps have been talking for 30 years. Oh, Windows is going to... You know, since there was a... Win oh, that Windows thing. And it's like, oh, don't worry. It's big now. And I saw it actually more like 15 years. And Windows hasn't been around for 30 years yet. <laughs> It's fixing to be 30. We should do something for Windows' 30th birthday. But, um, I, honestly, this is how you break a platform. You make a, you, you force a unilateral shift that is directly contrary to the behavior of the, of the people that made it a core platform. And that is kind of what they're doing with Metro. Well, see, I will say I have no problem with the Windows 8 Metro for, for, Retail consumer users. Okay, and I do agree that the windows that we've had all these years is too much for most people. They don't even use the majority of their operating system, nor do they want to. 
They go into Microsoft Word, and that's all they want to do. My mother's a great example. <laughs> she, she, you know, she's, they, they just moved, her law firm just moved from Windows XP to Windows 7. And she's bitching up the storm because all of all this change, you know. The thing of it is, is that she doesn't give a crap about the rest of the Windows operating system. She wants to get into Word, and everything, and, and by the way, she doesn't like Microsoft Word. She used to, she used to like Word Perfect, but the law, the, a lot of the legal industry, a lot of it stays in Word Perfect, a lot of it moves, has moved to Word. Uh, the, the, I, yeah, yeah, that happened yeah. just a few years ago, and everybody I know in that industry, I mean every goddamn one of them, are bitching endless. They're like, give me back my Word Perfect. I'll yeah, find yeah, yeah, yeah. my Word. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> running, running different new computers on Office 2000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven, I think. I want to say they were on this. Oh, God, they were cruel to her then. <laughs> no, 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 even before that. Were the office, what was the Office version before? Was it Office 2003? Who was it? Yeah, it was, I think 03. I don't, I don't think there was an 05. So I and, think it would yeah. be a 03. So, so, they're going from before 07 to Office 2010. So they're like, oh my. They hate this ribbon thing we were talking about. They do. They I don't ribbon. like it either. Yeah, so they want the Office 2007 because Office 2007 has the, has the ribbon. So they're going from like the UI of non ribbon to Office. She's like totally bitching about all this stuff. She's been in a law for God. I, I can't, I mean, flip. 30 something years, whatever. So, uh, the, the users like her, Metro might be fine because it's like a big ass freaking title. It's just Microsoft Word and just go in and click it and not worry about it. And it can't. But guys like myself and, you, uh, and a whole lot of other people that we're, that we're used to, that we want this kind of thing. Are in the wild Microsoft, are you, uh, we've regurgitated this, but we, uh, we are regurgitating this. Are you going to make an operating system in parallel like you used to do in the bank? We I, had Windows NT, we had Windows 98. I, 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 based on everything I've heard at this time, they have zero plans to. Depending on how much the industry revolts, they may change that next Windows cycle. But for the next, for the well, for, I guess I'm not going to Windows 8. Yeah, yeah. I, I I know a lot of places and people that are like, like, do you have any interest in Windows 8? They're like, no. It, it's another Vista. It, that's what it is. That's like people take one look at it. And they're like, yeah, I see where their logic is. I see where they're going, but no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. See, anyway, bullshit. This is, this is my Windows 8 little... Yeah, I can't see that. Move it towards the center of this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a booty cut. <laughs> That's fine. So let's give it a second. I mean, this is other rubbish. This whole... I have it on a purchase for It's thinking. Thank you. Okay. Uh, no, no, you watch people, it, 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 as painful as it is to use the Windows 8 UI on traditional interfaces, watching somebody else use it is even more painful. Because you're looking at them do these unelegant... You missed it. Windows developer preview. Hold on. I can't... Hold on, it's coming, it's coming. It went off, it went off. It's doing the whole... There we go. See, look, look, what? Yeah, basically you have a clock and then you touch things. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is what it is. That's like... <laughs> Damn it. Are you still saying this shit? Yeah, I, right, right about there. That's a good place. Okay. Okay. Woo! Why do I want to do this? You know? Yeah, you have... Yeah, again, that wouldn't be annoying if you had a touch screen. Oh, hold on, hold on. Well, now I can't see it. I'm not. I'm, I gotta type in my. Computer. Oh, oh come on! Give us your password. All your passwords are belong to us. <laughs> right. All right. Here we go. Oh, At least they didn't change that much. Oh yeah, they change it a little every time, but yeah. Wait. See, this is my Mac Pro. That's a badass right there. Okay, Mackie. This is going to become an, an antique. 
Uh, oh, okay, Mackian. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, and for those of you who are wondering... Do you see this shit? I, I know, and what, I guarantee you people are going to be a little... Because it, here's the thing, if you want to go Metro, it should start with the start menu already launched, rather than you having to go click on that thing. It's just green bullshit with a mouse that functions. I know. Hmm, let's do this thing. Fuck the mouse. Yeah. I'm waiting for Windows to boot. Mr. Pitt! It's a developer preview. It's not the real thing. It's not going to take this long in real life. It's the know. developer preview, which means it's all but a final release. Th th this is one step shy of a release candidate. Any I'm major... Sure you saw Windows like this. Any major bugs in this? I have, I can't, do, I have Microsoft Seeds on my, on my wonderful Mac Pro here. They don't take this <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Apple Show. Go ahead and comment, and I will decimate you in terms of other <laughs> releases. Alpha, don't take this freaking long to get their shit together. <laughs> Wow, you know, I'm still doing figure eights in my mouth. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. Hey, you move the camera. Look at this. And I have horizontal scrolling. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm going to have to go through this whole side of the screen I can give a shit about. Yeah, a a again, he's having to do that with a mouse. <laughs> Bas basically, you have. You have to. There's my stuff, right? Right? Watch this. Hello. Oh, I hit the start menu. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Mr. Pitt, but this is just a developer preview. No, this is the UI. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like the change they made down to this. To yes, the why? Why, Microsoft? Why? This. <laughs> what happened to my control panel? This is ridiculous. No, this is the. Th I can't really see the top right corner because we're the camera, but there. Uh, but no, I don't like this. I, as I was going in the Windows 8 control panel and stuff, it's like, okay, where the fuck are all the settings? <laughs> I like the apes, you know. <laughs> yeah. So it has eight settings? <laughs> and, no, what is this, Microsoft? Why, Microsoft? Why? Why do I have to have that screen? What is this crap? What is this? I don't want my shit at the goddamn bottom. Where did it go? See? See what I'm saying? Look at this. This is stupid, Microsoft. Stupid! Why? Microsoft, why? Let's go with Google. Well, on the other copy, they actually had it at the top. Yeah, but I can't. I can't. Well, it's and, and, and the in the beta it was at the top. Why it got moved, I don't really know. Yeah, I didn't do shit in this, man. This is how it came. Okay, we finally got to Google. Okay, now, now the, the thing of it is, is that device is the same. Well, I hate this shit. <laughs> the shit. Same bullshit. Why click this. once when five <laughs> will do? <laughs> Windows, not a sidebar. Am I gonna change the name to sidebar? You know what's you know I bet you where that came from is because they technically got rid of the sidebar in Windows 7. You remember it was in Vista, then they got rid of it. And now it's back. <laughs> Here's the problem with the new control panel. It's very much like a Zune HD. Instead of going click, click, and be where you are, it's click, 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 click. 
and click. Now I can so find. I, just, what, I don't know how my hand is on my right hand because I'm kind of. Look at this. See? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. There we go. Wait, oh, let's do share. I hate the sidebar again. Here it comes again. This is Windows. Where's my window? <laughs> Reminds me of I I didn't realize it till I watched somebody else do it. But you know what this reminds me of? If your computer was no more sophisticated than your Roku. What? I don't want the full screen taken. You know the beauty of Windows was that we didn't have to have an alt screen on the state in this one. I mean, does this really require the whole screen? Are they for, for, are they for real? That's the Metro UI, and this is what they want to encourage but, every application <laughs> in. It took five clicks to get where I wanted to go. Dude, we should do this at some point. We should have Windows 7 next to Windows 8 and do like a click test. Okay, how many clicks to do this? This is a preview. So they're going to entirely revamp the UI between now and December? Or October or whenever the hell they're releasing it? Because it's coming out this year. Look at this. This is all garbage. So, uh, are, 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 are they for real? Bitbox, copper. Let's see what we do over here. I can move my tiles. Okay, move it all. Uh, no, Marcel, I have a task for you. Decide yeah. the application you're moving now, whatever it is, is one you want yeah. to show when you first open the start menu. So go ahead and move that all the way to the start of the start menu. You want me to move this where? All the way to the start of the start menu. Okay. Now imagine if you actually had a good number of programs installed, how long that would take to do. Here? Yeah. See, because you can't see the whole start menu. You can only see these first few tiles. So your hot launch things have to be over there. Yeah. I, I, I mean... <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm not I, using this operating system. I'm sticking with my Windows 7. Oh, oh, no. I've seen people who have, like, stuck it out. They have uh, seven st uh, start menu screens. And they they get annoyed because they're like, okay, oh, which God. one was it on? <laughs> Rubbish. But you must use the Metro. <laughs> Look at this bullshit. Look at this, man. Look at this. I gotta click, you know what? I gotta go all the way over here. See, it's like, oh, start. What more can I have up? You can't, Mr. Man. Oh, I have to go up here. You know what's stupid about that? Did they? I'm going to my name. I mean, it's so stupid. No, you know what's stupid about this? Those two environments don't talk to each other. Like desktop mode and the start menu mode, they don't talk to each other. Thank you. Oh, it went back to my little bullshit. It didn't actually log off, it, it didn't actually do shit, man. Shut down. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I bitch at OS X adopting iOS stuff because mobile OSs are that until they become desktop OSs. Please don't merge the two. Get that kitty on my Look at me. Look, Mr. Big. I'm consistent even with Matt. <laughs> That's my Cub Scout stuff. No, I'm a dead leader. Cub Scouts now on the. Well, okay, wait. Is that Lion? 
No. Okay. Where is it? Ten point six. Okay. I I. I right? All fucked up. Ten. Does anybody see that shit? Ten point six eight. Right? Yeah. It's reversed for me. I mean, you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Ten point six. It's a smell effort. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, okay. Uh, the reason I was asking was because Lion, you know, does some similar what the f stuff. Not. It's not as bad, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. This, by the way, this is the motorcycle. I, this is my dream motorcycle. Right here. <laughs> That's a beautiful American-made badass sport bike. Right there. See, Buell just got independence from Harley Davidson, so that's why they say fiercely. Okay. Okay. We can move on. Now. Okay. So, what are we going to talk about now? 